When one thinks of a chronograph watch, usually the Daytona, Speedmaster, or even the Zenith El Primero come to mind. But what about this crazy handsome looking Longines Avigation Big Eye in titanium? If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more watch reviews coming up. There's quite a few aspects that stand out on this watch, making it a solid contender in the affordable luxury range of chronograph watches. For one, it looks absolutely fantastic with a beautiful and very unique petrol gradient blue dial, lighter in the center and fading towards the outer edge. This is a really nice looking blue, and I may venture to say that it's a shade of blue I've never seen before on any watch, let alone a funky chronograph like this. The dull grey titanium case is expertly finished and the colour suits the blue dial exquisitely. I'd say it suits the blue much better than a traditional stainless steel case would. It almost has a smoky grey matte texture to it, mimicking the textured blue dial. The titanium not only looks great, but as we know it's also much lighter weight than stainless steel, creating a near weightless feel on wrist and also balancing super well with the leather strap. I'm very very impressed with this watch. Longines can often be overlooked as a great watch brand, and it's offerings like this one that really prove that they're truly masters at their craft, in both the executing quality craftsmanship and bringing new models to the market that they know real watch collectors will appreciate. The layout on this dial is very interesting, with a full circle of numerals, some being cut partially by the subdials. But oddly, I kind of like the cut numeral look on this watch. It suits the whole vibe Longines was trying to emit with this piece. Of course, I can't go without mentioning the big eye subdial that you'll notice at the 3 o'clock side of the dial. It's just slightly larger than the others, like a big swollen eye. And guess what? No date wheel on the dial. Massive win. If there was one thing I'd change, it's the faux type of colouring used on the hands. Yes, I agree that it matches the retro era of the watch, and it also matches the supplied strap, but I'm just not a fan. I'd rather them be white and live with the watch for years as they naturally tarnish and build a natural patina. It's the purest ideology and I think many of you are on the same page as me. Omega seems to do this a lot as well, but Rolex has kept it classy luckily. The fit on wrist is great, and you can see here that even on my 6.5 inch wrist it remains subtle. The movement in the Avigation Big Eye is the Caliber L688 with a generous 66 hours of power reserve. This is of course self-winding and it beats at 28,800 VPH. This caliber does work with a column wheel, and it's well known that Longines uses ETA movements. So the one in this watch is a lightly modified ETA, which is great for servicing but takes away from what could have been a very special in-house movement. You can read our full review on the Avigation Big Eye by visiting our website watchreviewblog.com. And don't forget to check out our shop, watchpodcases.com, where we design specialty watch accessories in-house by us. Cheers!